The sky is shifting, not because of Russia's Su-57 or America's F-35, but it's because a small Nordic country won't follow the rules of the superpowers. The world didn't expect Sweden to build something. A fighter jet engine that is so powerful, efficient, and cutting edge that it might change the balance of air power across continents. It's not about the size or the money. This is about being brave and smart when it comes to design. The new Gripen engine is more than just an update. It shows that even small countries can make world-class military technology on their own terms. In the 1980s, Sweden wanted a plane that could protect its skies without having to rely on anyone else. That's when the story of the Gripen began. Europe was on edge throughout the Cold War. Sweden realized that big air bases would be the first to fall in a true war. So the engineers at Saab developed a jet that could fly anywhere. The Gripen could land on a highway, refuel in 10 minutes, and take off again before enemy radar could see it. It simply needed a few technicians and a tiny vehicle to help. This wasn't just smart engineering, it was a way of thinking about survival. It was freedom inscribed in metal and code. The original Gripen models were light, quick, and easy to take care of. They paid a small fraction of what great powers did for their jets. But they did just as well on a lot of tasks. The Gripen became well known for being fast, dependable, and cheap to run over time. South Africa, Thailand, and Brazil are some of the countries that joined the Gripen family. The technology and training for the planes were available to all countries, which was not the case with American or Russian airplanes. The Gripen was more than just a plane. It became a symbol of freedom and defense. The tale has now moved on to a new phase. The Gripen E and F models have better electronics, radar, and missiles. But the biggest change is happening deep inside the plane's body. The Gripen will reach a whole new level with Sweden's new engine. This engine will give the aircraft more than 22,000 pounds of thrust, which will make it faster, more efficient, and able to fly faster than sound without needing afterburners. Super Cruise is the name of its feature. It saves fuel and makes the jet less hot. It also makes it difficult to find and easier to keep going in battle. Saab's engineers aren't trying to make its cars stealthy by using pricey materials and coatings. Their main goals are efficient energy utilization, digital administration, and modular design. The new engine is being constructed to work with both regular fuel and hybrid electric systems in the future. It can fly great distances while still carrying a lot of weight without losing efficiency. It can run cooler, which makes it last longer and stay concealed better. There is a silent revolution going on inside the metal frame of the Gripen E in many ways. This engine isn't only about power or speed. It's all about being flexible. The Gripen can take off from roadways, runways that are slippery, or small pieces of land. It doesn't need big bases or extensive runways. In a matter of minutes, a crew of five people can refuel it, rearm it, and launch it again. This makes it very hard to destroy the Gripen. It can spread out throughout the countryside and work from places you wouldn't expect it to. This adaptability offers the Gripen an advantage that no stealth coating can match in modern warfare as drones and missiles hunt down every target. A lot of countries are paying attention. Countries that can't afford the high price of the F-35 think the Gripen is a better choice. One Gripen costs about $60 million, which is about half as much as a stealth aircraft. The cost of running it per hour is significantly lower. This means that smaller air forces may fly more often, train better, and stay ready without spending a lot of money. The Gripen E performs almost as well as fifth-generation fighters, but it doesn't come with the enormous political baggage that American systems do. The Gripen is already popular in Brazil. It makes some sections of the plane in its own country and trains its own engineers. This is the kind of relationship that makes a country stronger. It gives countries the tools they need to build their own aerospace businesses, instead of relying on international suppliers. Sweden's policy lets countries be part of the technology instead of merely buying it. It is a new kind of defensive diplomacy that is based on sharing and working together instead of controlling. The way the Gripen was made is based on Sweden's topography and way of thinking. Sweden is close to the Arctic Circle and is surrounded by forests, lakes, and bad weather. The way it thinks about defense is to survive the first strike and fight wisely. 
The grape pin matches that idea nicely. It is strong, light, and flexible. It can find enemies that are out of sight by using sensors and data fusion. It has missiles that can hit an enemy long before they see it. It can also jam, trick, and blind enemy radars with its electronic warfare equipment. The Grapen systems are all made to let the pilot be more aware, work more efficiently, and be in charge. The speculated new engine adds to this way of thinking. It provides the Grapen a longer range, a faster ascent, and a bigger boost. It helps the plane stay in the air longer and respond more quickly. This means that a smaller air force may cover more ground with fewer planes. That is a huge plus for countries with a lot of land or chains of islands. It changes flexibility into strategy. The new Gripen engine also marks a modest change in the economics of global security. For a long time, superpowers have controlled the armaments industry. Their systems usually have political conditions and costs that last a long time. Smaller countries want to be free. The Gripen makes that path possible. It illustrates that being smart and creative can beat having a lot of money in space. The new engine makes that point even stronger. It claims that people who spend the most money on technology are no longer the only ones who can lead it. It belongs to the people who make the smartest things. The way Sweden has changed its defense shows how countries are changing their minds on air power. The traditional idea was that size and numbers were the keys to success. The new idea is that being fast, flexible, and in charge leads to success. The Gripen's distributed operations philosophy is a great fit for modern combat. Sweden can put jets in hundreds of places instead of just one big base. Each aircraft can maneuver, hide, and attack on its own, without needing central command structures. This makes it almost tough for an enemy to destroy Sweden's air power all at once. The new engine goes even further with this idea. It lets the Gripen take off faster, stay in the air longer, and come back faster. It sets up a rhythm of operations that makes it hard for opponents that rely on heavy logistics and centralized maintenance to keep up. It also enables allied countries use the same methods, which creates a network of smaller, smarter air forces that can work together without relying on one superpower. The Gripen is powerful because it can cause problems, not because it can take over. It goes against the old way of thinking about how strong the military is. It shows that you can get good results without spending a lot of money. It shows that being independent, creative, and practical may beat being complicated. The new engine is the next step in that idea. It uses cleaner energy, lasts longer, and can be changed over the course of decades. Other countries are starting to rethink their strategies for buying things as Sweden keeps improving the system. Countries in Eastern Europe, Africa, and Asia are looking at alliances that let them choose their own military options. The Gripen model makes them want to put money into making things, writing software, and fixing things in their own country. This helps spread technology and make businesses in the area stronger. Over time, it shifts the balance of military strength around the world. Sweden's plan has another big effect. It makes people trust you. A country that buys the Gripen is not a customer, it is a partner. It becomes part of a group of countries that exchange improvements, information, and experiences. Lessons acquired from throughout the world help each iteration of the jet. This makes an ecosystem of innovation that continues getting better and doesn't rely on just one government or business. This new engine fits nicely into this plan, making sure that Gripen's will be able to compete for many years to come. The fact that this change has transpired so quietly is what makes it even more amazing. While big countries spent hundreds of billions of dollars trying to make stealth technology flawless, Sweden focused on making it reliable, efficient, and adaptable. The Gripen's growth proves that competent defense doesn't need a lot of noise or drama. It needs a reason. It requires people who know that true strength comes from being independent and coming up with new ideas, not copying others. Analysts around the world are already making predictions about what the new engine will do once it starts testing. People will notice a fighter that can supercruise, use less fuel, and carry modern electronic warfare systems for a fraction of the cost. 
For a lot of countries, this is an opportunity to join the contemporary air war without giving up their independence or spending a lot of money. For some, it is a wake-up call that power is no longer about who spends more, but about who can change the fastest. The Gripen's rise from a Cold War necessity to a global symbol of smart defense is a straightforward story. Size doesn't always matter. Working together can last longer than stress. Technology that is made with a purpose can change the balance of power in the world. Sweden may not want to be the best, but it has already transformed the game via innovation. The new Gripen engine shows that the sharpest people, not the biggest ones, will win in the future of air combat. If you like this in-depth look at Sweden's quiet revolution in air power, please like this video, share it, and subscribe for more information on how technology is changing modern defense. Your help keeps us going higher every week.